It's exactly 6.30 p.m. and we're here at Barry Ucam Metro Station. Um, not sure exactly what happened, but I'm going to assume it was a, another pepper spray incident. Um, I was actually doing a live stream with fellow YouTuber uh, Quebec Buff uh, over at Station 5 and got a response and heard a bunch of other sirens, followed the sounds, followed the, the trucks and uh, ended up here at Barry Ucam Metro Station. And I seen the hazmat truck just leave. I'll put a link to the live stream. You can actually see everything as it happened. Uh, but yeah, this is Barry Ucam Metro Station. I assume it's a, a tear gas situation because of the fact that uh, the hazmat unit was here. But uh, special thanks to Quebec Buff. Uh, I was just doing a live stream with the hosted me uh, so we did a live stream together and uh, the timing I talk about the timing this is this was interesting to see so uh, wait for the Metro to reopen I haven't checked any notifications yet all I seen was there was a service disruption on multiple lines and obviously here at Barry Ucam is where it seems ground zero is but uh, we'll walk around here before we get back inside. What's that coming? Another uh, chief vehicle or maybe an STM emergency vehicle? Can't really tell. Yeah, we're going to find out right now actually. Probably an STM emergency vehicle. Yeah, it looks like they're leaving the metro now. So no doubt it was probably uh, another tear gas incident. Um, I think that's the second one today actually, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's an STM emergency vehicle. Uh, so what we'll do, we'll walk around a bit You know, we'll head down here because looks like a lot of the action's down here. Then we'll go inside and uh, see what's happening. My battery is very low right now, so hopefully it lasts long enough to film this video. I'll uh, wait for this light to change. Yeah, so it looks like, yeah, I just got a tweet here. Normal metro service, so looks like the metro's reopened. We'll go inside and see what it looks like from the inside. Oh, actually, that's a paramedic supervisor vehicle. There's an ambulance as well on standby. Oh, it's cold. Yeah, so uh, that entrance is closed off as of now. So I'm going to try another entrance here. It does say normal metro service. So maybe they're just gradually uh, reopening the station. Yeah, like I said, I'll put a link to that uh, live stream that I did there with the uh, Quebec bus. Really cool live stream, actually. It went pretty well. All right, we're going to cross here. Uh, like I said, I do want to get into the metro. I'll pause the video until we get over here.
All right, Metro Station has reopened. People are going in. Uh, if you're wondering, by the way, this is a self-cleaning toilet. Cleans itself. But before we go in, let's check out this STM uh, fire prevention vehicle over here, which is rare to catch. Get a look from the front before we go in the metro. It's actually a maxi unit. All right, let's go in the metro and uh, see what it like, what it's like here at Barry Ucam. And it's just so you know, Thursday, January fifth, two thousand twenty-two, six thirty-seven p.m. And we are on Berry Street, Rue Berry. See what it looks like as we go in. And uh, like I said, this is the second pepper spray. Second pepper spray incident today. So here we are in the metro. And uh, I'll film until the platform. Once we get to the platform, I'll uh, wrap her up. I do want to preserve my battery, but uh, you know, for my viewers out there that you know like these videos, definitely I want to accommodate you. Thing to understand as well: when pepper sprays released or any irritant, or if there's a gas leak or anything, usually, uh, usually it's I think every I think it's four stations in each direction. From the station affected that will actually uh, be evacuated so here's Barry you can slowly returning to normal and we're gonna head to the green line uh, direction angry on so what I'll do is I'll make this a priority upload Uh, for my viewers out there that are uh, interested I'll put the link up to the live live stream I did with Quebec Buff so you can actually see the lead up to this event in real time and as I always say if you like what you see please hit the like button hit the subscribe Turn on the notification bell. Now, usually when there's a service disruption, there's a, a backlog, like a bottleneck effect. Wouldn't be surprised if it happened here. I often wonder, does this happen in other subway systems in North America? For example, New York City, Boston, Toronto. I wonder how often that happens, what the statistics are. Yeah, so over here is your orange line. Uh, we're going to the green line. So it looks like uh, looks like the situation's under control. Just to be sure, we'll check out the platform. Uh, we got Azure and an MR73 side by side. I'll tell you what, we'll do. We'll actually ride. No, I'm not going to get this one. Missed it. There's set 70. There's our MR-73 departing. Yeah, so it looks like service is okay. I don't see any delay or retard, which means uh, delay next to the numbers. Uh, see over here that's not delayed two minutes four minutes yeah so uh, anyway we'll wrap her up here 
Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and as always, more videos to come. And uh, yeah, I'll put that link up right away to the the live stream with Quebec Buff. See y'all soon.